There's a story that I started hearing about at a very young age. My grandmother would tell you fairy tales. And one of the stories she told us, without much detail, was actually that, oh, there was uh, a man who was taken by, Gungunyana was taken by um, the white people, and he was never seen again. They had no details uh, of what actually transpired. Where was he taken to? How was he taken? And what happened to him when he got there? drove from the airport, you could actually, you were reassured you were on, a, on an island because you could smell the water, the sea water. But also I was, um, it was like I was coming to meet these guys who are long dead and I didn't know what to expect. We drove to some hotel somewhere. I, the first thing I did after checking in, walked outside. I knew the mountain and I looked at the mountain and I said, in my heart, guys, I want to tell your story. Can you allow me to do that? And can you help me to make that possible? Because your story has got to be heard. I found it to be one of the many untold African stories. I think Africa is so many stories that it, it still has to share with the world. When you consider the fact that film is still very young, it means we've got a lot to do. As humanity, we have a duty to pave the way of where we want to go. And I think having good knowledge on our history helps us to know how to deal with certain challenges in life. One of the things I really am committed to as a filmmaker is to unify the world, to unify the races, that we can just be one race, we can just be all united and, and be one people.